Hello and uh, welcome to the Solar Shed. Right today, I want to be speaking to you what a battery management system is, or short for uh, uh, BMS, and uh, why you should have one uh, on your system. As always, I'll leave a link down below um, for any of the hardware that you may be interested in uh, purchasing. Right, here we are solar fans. Right, the job of the BMS is to ensure the battery is used and operated uh, within its safe operate, uh, operating uh, parameters. Now, for an example, when the battery, this battery is then charged, um, the BMS is constantly monitoring the voltage of these uh, individual cells that um, current is going into. Now, if a battery is overcharged, um, it can then individually damage the cells. For the chemistry of these batteries, lithium ion phosphate, the operating upper voltage limit is 3.6 volts. Now, these cells must not go over that voltage. If they do, these cells will very quickly uh, get damaged, thus uh, reducing um, their life uh, quite dramatically. So if a, if a battery a cell here is seen to be seen creeping up quicker than all the others, the BMS will then try and bring the voltage of that um, this cell down via using its balancing cables here. Um, and also, if, this, if it's not able to do that, and this battery here then shoots over the 3.6 volts, and these other batteries are still just shy or below, for an example, the BMS will then cut the power uh, that's charging um, these batteries um, until there's adequate power discharging um, on the outlet. And the same thing happens when we start to discharge a battery. Um, for this type of chemistry of battery, lithium ion phosphate, the um, safe working uh, discharge voltage is 2.5 volts. And the BMS here is monitoring the voltages of each of the cells through these cables. And if it notices one of these cells is then dropping um, just about the drop below 2.5 volts, the whole system, the BMS, um, shuts down any current leaving this battery until further current, adequate current is then feeding back into the system uh, to start charging the battery. Another thing that um, these BMSs um, can have, this one in particular hasn't, is a temperature sensor. Um, so should you uh, be discharging your battery um, or putting it under load um, and it's getting rather warm, uh, the BMS will cut the power uh, to protect it. Um, something that um, lithium is renowned for and that's thermal runaway um, and that's um, lithium phosphate isn't too bad for it but um, some lithium batteries are and they can catch fire. Um, so this is really, a BMS is really there just to catch that, but uh, that's only really if you're putting your batteries um, under a large load. Putting um, a BMS for your uh, battery pack, uh, you must ensure it is the right BMS for the right chemistry of battery. Uh, this particular one is um, lithium ion phosphate, and then just to ensure that you are getting the, so selecting the right one, just to ensure that the BMS has the right chemistry uh, symbol on it. Um, because this is the reason being is lithium um, has different operating uh, voltages. Um, some of the different uh, lithiums have a higher operating voltage and then uh, vice versa discharge voltage. So you don't want to be putting um, a different type of BMS on that has a higher voltage uh, disconnect compared to these ones here, for example, which are 3.6 volts. What I'll talk about is can you run a lithium battery um, not connected to a BMS? And yes, technically you can. So you could almost run them um, like a lead acid, but this is the thing, it's strongly advised not to do that. Um, the technology in lead acid um, is over almost like 100 years old. And again, there's a simple, um, this, uh, this battery pack here is split up into six cells. So in theory, yes, this lead acid should really um, if it was designed nowadays, should have a battery management system. Um, for an example, we've got, um, I know of a, a vehicle that uh, discharges all the time in my uh, one of my places of work, and it's left for like more than three days. And there's a draw, there's a problem with the van, it's drawn the current out of these batteries. And these individual cells are sulfuring up, and the breakdown servicemen almost know the vehicle um, because 
the cells are, these cells are no longer holding their charge. Um, so, but if we had a battery management system connected to one of these lead acids, um, it would have cut the power off and then the batteries would have then been saved. So this vehicle has gone through about maybe 10, 15 batteries, would you believe? And um, because people keep leaving the damn thing connected. So yes, um, if the lead acids were to be used nowadays, then ultimately they should have BMSs connected to them. And the same thing for lithium. Um, they should be used um, with a BMS, otherwise you run the risk of like lead acids of uh, damaging them if they get uh, discharged and, and overcharged like we've just been speaking about. Well if you have found this video um, helpful please give us a thumbs up it would be appreciated and it will help my little channel and uh, thank you for watching.